Hey you guys, it's the Apostle Michelle Peterson and I am on the last part of the love letter from God, uh, a message that the Lord gave me a while back that he wanted me to talk more, go into more details about it, just to talk about it. And so that's, that's what I've been doing over these last videos is talking more about what he said, what he actually gave me to help you understand him, understand what he's saying, and also help you apply the stuff that he desires to your everyday life. Okay, so in this part of the message, the Lord talks about, he says, come, I will give you rest, rest from pain, suffering, struggles, how good is that, trials, hurt, envy, and strife. I will set you free. Do you want to be free? Come to me. I love you. Come to me open your heart to me so this is the lord saying this i think this is great you know the lord is telling us you know when we come to him things that he will give us rest from he will give us rest from these things when we come to him first thing he talks about giving us rest from is pain how many of you want rest from pain right <laughs> i'll be honest with you the closer i have been getting with uh to the lord when I am in situations that, um, you know, cause me pain or cause some type of hurt and stuff to come upon me, I will say it is removed from me within minutes. You know, like it's removed from me so fast now. And before, you know, I started getting closer to God and, and learning how to, uh, you know, ask the Lord to remove these things off of me. I would deal with hurt and pain and stuff for long periods of time, months, years, you know. Um, it, you know, sometimes I would bury it and push it down. But now it's removed from me fast because, you know, we all have access to God. We have access that He can remove these things off of us really fast. Um, he will give us rest from these things. So pain is the first one. Suffering, He will give you rest from suffering. Struggles. He will give you rest from struggles. And you guys, when you're when you're talking about rest, rest is being totally calm, at peace, and all of this stuff that's going on. When you think about when you're sleeping, aren't you calm? Aren't you totally relaxed and laid back? You're not worrying about nothing. You're sleeping. You can't worry about anything. You're unconscious. <laughs> so just think about being unconscious, being at sleep, being asleep. If you're dealing with pain, struggles, uh, trials, hurt, envy, strife, all of that stuff, just see yourself as being at calm, total peace, being totally asleep, <laughs> totally at rest in those situations. The Lord says, I will give you rest. He will give you the rest. I experience it every day. I experience rest all the time. Uh, rest from suffering, struggles, trials. If you're going through trials, he will give you rest in those trials. You won't experience it. I mean, it will not be as bad, you know. I mean, you won't be able to experience it. You'll be at total peace and calm. Hurt and uh, envy and strife. So the Lord is saying he will give you rest from these things. And like I said, I have experienced this. I know plenty of people that experience, you know, peace. You know, when they are going through, like, the like the toughest things that people can't even understand how they're able to just like just totally be at rest in those situations it's God it's God you know be totally tormented um and let you know unless someone medicates you and totally knocks you out you know you're unconscious with drugs that's why a lot of people get on drugs and alcohol and they get addicted to these things because they can't cope with the pains suffering struggles trials hurt you know they can't cope with that stuff so you know, their form of rest is to be drugged out. You know, that calms them down, you know, the drugs. But we don't need drugs. We don't need alcohol. We don't need that, all that stuff with the Lord. When we're going through this stuff, God will give us rest. He will give us the peace. He will calm us down. And we can handle it without drugs. And so the Lord says here, I will set you free. He will set you free. You know, he will set you free. 
you will not experience the, the, the negative emotions from this stuff. You will be totally set free. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be free? That's the Lord's question for us, for you. Do you want to be free from these things? Do you want God to give you his rest? Ask him. Ask him. Whatever situation, whatever pain, emotions um, that you're struggling with right now, ask the Lord to give you rest in that. Then whenever you feel that rest, when you feel his peace and you're calm, don't bring it up again because if you bring it up again, then you're going to have to keep asking him to give you rest. Ask him to keep giving you peace because the emotions will start stirring back up. So he says he will set you free. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be free? And so then the Lord tells us after he says this, he says, come to me. So coming to God, that is how we become free. We have to come to him. We come to him. He gives us rest from all of those things. To be free, we come to him. He gives us rest. He makes us free, but we have to come to him. You have to come to him. Ask him to help you. Seek him, you know, draw close to him. Do all of these things that he says for us to do. And he can do all of these things. He will do all of these things. He will give you rest. He will set you free. Okay? Then at the last part, he says, I love you. I love you. He loves you. Come to me. Open your heart to me, okay? So focus on the Lord, open your heart to Him. Ask Him to help you in everything, every struggle, everything you're going through. Ask Him to help you. Uh, depend on Him, honor Him, do all of that great stuff, okay? All right, you guys, so this is the last part of the love letter uh, from God, uh, the message that God gave to me. And so this is the last video. If you guys haven't checked out the first one, go and check it out. I'm gonna try to make sure I link everything. Uh, in these videos. Okay. All right, everyone. God bless.